In this video, we are going to learn about the restricted earth fault relay, its connection and how it's work. So let's start this video. Before we are going to learn about this video, I would like to request to you, please like, subscribe and share. On your screen we can see this is the restricted earth fault relay and over here we can see the NONC connections this is the NONC connections and just scroll down this is instantaneous earth fault relay type CAG now behind that we can see this is the current setting that is 0 0.123456 and up to 0 0.8 now at last we can see this is the connection port so we will see in background how do we connect uh, cable from ct and how do we connect the cable that is uh, goes for uh, annunciator and uh, how do we connect uh, uh, tripping cable and in which port we will connect it so we'll see so over here we can see there is uh, 10 ports that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so we'll see in which port that we are coming cities keyword and in which port we are exporting the signal so over here we can see this is the connections coming from cities and this is the connection that is going for enunciator and tripping cables ref relay ref relay it means restricted earth fault relay and generally used for internal protection of the transport we used Bukuz relay as also internal protection of the transformer but Bukuz relay used only for temperature and we can also use the restricted earth fault relay for generator but we used NGR and NGT that is neutral grounding transformer and neutral grounding register in the case of generator it's operate on the basis of zero sequence current and it is very sensitive current and its pickup current is around 0 0.1 ampere to 0 0.8 ampere it's protect only the internal part but we can also see if we have already differential relay then why we used uh, REF relay so there is a, some pickup current difference that is the differential relay uh, pickup current is starting from 3 ampere but in the case of REF relay it start from 0 0.1 ampere now let's start this is the generating side and this is the transformer primary winding and this is secondary winding let's suppose the fault occurred in the secondary winding of the transformer that is a star winding and over here so the fault current circulate through this from this to neutral part this so it will not get the effect this zone this zone will not get effect from the S star winding of the transformer because if the fault is minor then only otherwise it will get effect the uh, delta side also but let's suppose if the fault is minor 10 to 20 percent not more than 10 to 20 percent then it will not get effect on the delta sides so the positive negative and zero sequence all the three sequence will not get the sense any of the current in delta side 
and relay will not going to operate but in the case of this this one if the fault occurred in the internal zone of the transformer then let's suppose this is the our protection zone this is our protection zone this is the over current relay set as 10 to 20 percent of rated current now let's suppose fault occurred over here so this fault current through this one generating side so this generating side fault current flow all the cities so this time positive some of the positive sequence current and some of the negative sequence current is zero but the zero sequence current flow through these cities so it will sense the current and if we are connecting the restricted earth fault relay in the delta side then we have to set over here rated current and tripping current 10 to 20 percent of rated current so this time due to the zero sequence current relay will sense and it will give the tripping command to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker get isolated case number two if the fault occurred external and when we are not connecting the ncd in over here so what happened so we can see this is the fault faulty area and this fault current flow through the over here and as we know this is the zero potential so this fault current flow same fault current flow all the cities so as we know due to the phase displacement of 120 degree and minus 120 20 degree the positive sequence and negative sequence will not uh, going to sense the fault but the zero sequence will get will sense the fault and give the tripping command to the circuit breaker so there is a no meaning of restricted earth fault relay so we have to make it as a restricted earth fault relay so we have to add one ct over here and we need to connect parallel with this all ct and we have to put one relay over here and make there is a difference between them then it will operate so let's see just i am adjusting over here we can see this is the NCT and NCT connected to this all CT. There is a phase. This one this is the polarity. And over here we can see this is the relay. So this is the load. This is the internal part. And this is the external part. So let's see in other images. Now in this image we can see this is the star winding of the transformer that is the secondary winding load is connected this is the phase r y b and this is ct1 ct2 ct3 this is the relay over current relay this is the nct earth and this is the zero potential this is the r y b phase so over here let's suppose we have two condition condition number one if the fault occurred outside the zone then what will happen and if the fault occurred inside the zone then what will happen this is the uh, internal and this is external fault now we can see now externally fault occurred in the system so this fault current flow through the nct and to the neutral so same fault current flow through all the winding and this is the polarity of the ct so this ct current flow through this way and this ct current flow through this way so let's suppose suppose this is i1 and this is i2 so i1 minus i2 is equal to zero so it will not get effect through the fault this fault so if the fault occurred externally in the system then it will not get affect the internal part of the system and this relay will not going to operate
now if the fault occurred in the zone so this is our protection zone and if the fault occurred in this zone then this is this uh, b phase so as we know the fault current flow through this now there is some current in this ct1 that is r phase there is some current in y phase but there is no current in b phase so unbalanced current flow through them so this current flow through in this way and this nct sense the fault current and flow in this way and this time i1 minus i2 is equal to something and this relay will get operate when the fault is internally and in the winding of the transformer at that time this fault relay will get command from the ct and sent to the cb and cb will get isolate the transformer from the generator now we are uh, seeing a restricted earth fault relay this is the background of this relay and this is also earth fault relay so we can see over here this is the port number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now number one and number two goes for annunciator and number three and number four number three and number four goes for master trip relay that is uh, this one is master trip relay uh, so we can see this one is master trip relay and uh, over here this one are nine and ten uh, this uh, is coming from cities so in this way uh, we'll do connection and this is uh, earth wire so in this way we can do connection of uh, earth fault relay <laughs>